I don't really know where to put the camera to show you this. Um, already knocked it over once trying. Because I need my hands to do this. So. Now, when it's this, I mean, I don't know if you can hear the crunching of the roots as I'm ripping them, but it's pretty much unavoidable. There we go, I got that one loose okay. You just kind of try to work your fingers through, but you're gonna, you're gonna tear some roots. It's not that big a deal. They'll come back. You just don't want to end up with a plant with no roots. So anyway, you just kind of pull them apart like that in chunks. Some of them. This one doesn't have very many roots left. Some of them you're going to have to plant together. If you really leave them a long time like this, they're just worked through together and what do you do, right? Like these two. Should I try to get them apart? Honestly, I'm not gonna. So I think I have enough to do those pots. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. No. I, one, two. Yep. Yeah, I've got enough. Okay. So I'm gonna take the camera over this away. So that's what I have so far. And we're gonna set the camera over here. So now you can watch the pot. Sort of. Let's see, there, that's probably good. Very exciting without plants in them though. Oh boy. And I'm trying not to rip too many leaves as I go either because these just tend to There we are. I'll put this little guy in first. Oh, I have seven pots here. Well, let's see about that. So I'm going to stick him in there. And then I'm going to take one of these tomato baskets, which... This one's the one with not very many leaves, so we'll remember what pot he's in, or roots. See how that goes. But there's one. And then I'll water them in after they're done, but I'm going to put some kale in first. So. Oh, I'm so stiff. Really achy. So you just try to get the um, the soil surfaces to match up. You, I don't know anything about like with tomatoes. You have a bit of flexibility. They're probably not going to die if you bury them too deep. They might even just send out more roots along their stem. They're pretty forgiving. But I don't know anything about golden berries. I've never tried to grow them before. So this is all new for me. There we go. That's okay. I can't really get in there for that one anyway. I don't even know if you can see me from over here. I'm climbing the plant. You might just be staring at one particular plant. That's all right. I'm doing the same thing. There's six plants. Oh. Okay.
go. And these are some pretty wimpy baskets, tomato baskets that I'm, I'm using here. I, I have some better ones. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend these, but this is what I have right now, right here. So this is what I am using. See, this guy has a little guy in with him, but whatever. He'll be fine. Don't need to plant the little guy all on his own. So, and he has a little, probably a lemon. I don't know. It could be some other citrus thing. But I go through a lot of lemons and I just end up sticking the pits in. With, uh, I put the seeds in with uh, whatever I have planted. So I end up with a lot of little lemon trees, but you know, I don't have any big lemon trees, so I don't know. They all seem to die eventually. It's not like I intend it. I'd love to have some big lemon trees around, but they don't seem to make it that For me? Yo, and this guy does not want to stay in the basket, but that's all right. I don't really care. Ugh. These guys are kind of big, and they're gonna grow together. Sorry if you're watching my leg or something like that. Yeah, I have my trowel here, and I'm not using it at all. Let's just lean you against there. I might use it for the... You know. plant whatever you want in a pot for on your deck but usually um, most gardeners would agree for a potted masterpiece you do a thriller killer spiller kind of idea so you this guy right here in the middle-ish hopefully he firms up anyway he will be the thriller, right? And these guys right here, my kale, most of them are this kind of kale, but not all of them, because I had some others on that side. Oh, so achy. And then I'd like to have some nasturtiums for the spiller, but I do not have them. So I normally have them. This year I do not. And I have so many plants I've decided, well, I'm not going to get any more. I'm just going to go with what I have. Oh, come on, you. These guys are a little bit easier to work with. Go wherever he wants. Might be kind of planting these a little bit on the thick side. Is there, <laughs> really, I mean, this pot, two kale might be enough. <laughs> uh, I don't really care that much though. So, this guy's gonna go in, I don't know what he is, but 
showed up in the pot, so... Mm. I think I'm just going to stick some squash, some kind of a squash, in each one for the spiller. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. And you should probably decide these things before you actually start planting, but I can just get them in wherever. I'm just wanting to deal with these thrillers right now because I've got to deal with them. Another the kale could have waited. It's not urgent that I deal with it, but I mean, they're getting pretty big on their own. A couple of them are. There we go. There we are. Can you see me over there? Okay, now you can. Oh, so sore. I might even just get some some flowers to spill over the edge from the garden center. I don't know. I shouldn't. I told myself, don't get any plants. Too many already. His tag right here. There we go. Now some people when they're planting their, um, well most people I think, when you're planting your um, pots, most people would mix in a slow release fertilizer into the potting mix before they plant up their plants in there. Now, let's, if, if you want to do that, you can do that. Or you could mix in some compost with your potting mix. It's probably best to put that compost in a tray in the oven for a little while before you put it in your pots. But even if you don't, it'll probably be fine. They're going to be outside anyway, so it's not like you're. It's not as important as with the seedlings in your house because. I mean, who wants centipedes and stuff like that in their house, right? Put this guy in here. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you right now because I... Well, I guess I could get a... I'm going to go get a squash for each one.
don't know what kind of squash these are. They're two no bales north of the um, my water meter, so I'm gonna have to look on my bale map to know what kind of squash, because really, I a lot of squash at this point they just look pretty much the same. So. So these are going to be my spillers. And hopefully it just spills right off the deck edge. So I'll put the way that the wherever the squash is in the pot, I'm going to face that um, out the deck. So hopefully they'll just trail down the side of my deck. And I'll have to put something else in here as spillers to, um, for the pot itself, you know, like to cover the pot. <sighs> because this is not really that good for that. It's just what I happen to have. So that's what I'm using. Anyway, that's that. Now I just water it in and, um, that's, that's how you deal with making pots for your deck and then I mean when you put them on your deck you should have drip trays under them it's a good idea I mean you want holes in your pots so that it can drain properly but you want a drip tray so anyway yeah so that's that <laughs>